Good morning and good day, seekers and friends alike. Mask on. Mask off, bitch. Welcome back to my channel. Gorgeous friends, gorgeous seekers whom I love so much. I am sending you all the light and love in the world. I am here in beautiful, beautiful Athens, Ohio. Ohio, baby. Yes, I go to school here now. It's crazy. I'm kind of back from the dead because I haven't um, uploaded a video in a really long time. But you know what? The wait is over, friends. This message needed to come out. This is a divinely guided message and I've been trying to gather what I want to say to you guys for a while because there has been a lot going on. So we're just gonna start with this. Okay, what I need to talk about, this is urgent. This is an urgent message, so I am really hoping that the people who need to hear this, hear this. Currently, we are in a process, um, astrologically, time-wise, everything that's happening, we are in a massive karmic cycle coming to a close, coming to an end. All of our karmic cycles from our past lives, sometimes karma can literally transfer for 15 years because it's energy. Energy can't be destroyed, okay? So energy moves on and it goes somewhere else. If you have done wrong, if you have hurt somebody um, in your past, that karma will be coming up now. It is being unearthed. What that means, if I were doing a, a tarot reading right now for the general public, it would probably say that there are a lot of tower moments. Tower moments are happening left and right. They're happening to me, they're happening to other readers, they're happening to everyone. We are all one, right? Consciously, we are connected through the life force that is, right? We are all made of this life, made of this energetic life force. So right now, our karma is being unearthed. So cycles are trying to come to a close. This is the moment to Rather than reacting to a situation out of anger or out of lust or greed or judgment, step back. Just step back. Take a moment, take a breath and be with yourself. This is a moment to be with ourselves, to go into hermit mode. Because everything, the tower means that everything is crumbling around us. Everything is crashing down so that things can be rebuilt again. These karmic cycles are carrying over and now is the time to break them. If your initial instinct, so people may be challenging you, it's all a test. We have to realize that this life constantly is providing tests to see how we will react. That is the law of attraction. If something bad happens, someone challenges you, you have a fight, you have an argument, and now you're like, F them, I don't want them in my life anymore. Okay, take a step back. Question what their intentions were. Question what your intentions are. And move forward accordingly. Don't act on impulse. Mars is also in retrograde. Mars is the planet of aggression and it's in retrograde which means that from where we are it looks like it's going backwards and when planets go into retrograde it means that we go inside ourselves. So we internalize a lot. We are internalizing anger. We are internalizing frustration and we are not properly communicating, letting it out. So it's building up, building up, building up, and it's causing us so much anguish, so much stress, so much pain. These are the things that are happening right now so that we can learn from these things and move forward accordingly so that we can make the right decisions for our better good. So if things have been really testing you and life has been shit recently, everything is crumbling down, you have been having sleepless nights, you, there's a decision that you can't make, like if everything feels really, just like everything is happening at once, it's all falling, it's all breaking, it's not a bad thing. This is a tower moment. The tower in tarot, it's a building, a literal tower that's burning, it's on fire, everything is coming to the ground, tumbling down so that it can be rebuilt on a stronger foundation. If things are tumbling, let them tumble, let them fall. And take a step back and spend some time with yourself. This is also a time where we need to recharge. We need to recharge in positive energy. You might be having a lot of negative thoughts towards people or towards yourself. Stop, stop that. That is your karma. You need to learn from that, overcome it. And if a negative thought comes in about someone else or about yourself, step back and say, whoa, 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 whoa. Who is telling me that? Who just put that thought in my head? 
Because we know that energetically, we are all energetic beings. Everything that is, is made of energy. Vibrating matter, right? That's why when you're in the room with someone, if you guys don't align, because you're on different, literally wavelengths, literally different frequencies, you may be a higher vibrational being because you have a lot of positivity and love and kindness in you, whereas they may be in a moment of stress and anguish and pain. They're gonna bring the vibe down. Their low frequency is going to bring you down. It's going to bring the whole energetic field around you down. And you might not even realize that. If you don't even acknowledge things like the fact that we are all literally made of energy, you might not realize that and you might just be like, ugh, I don't like that person. But if you take a closer look, you might see, oh, wait, maybe they're just going through something that I don't understand and we're on a different frequency. And maybe if I take a step back and spend some time with myself, maybe I was on that low frequency. Maybe I was the one setting off the vibe because I was too in my head and I've been taking and taking and taking and my energy is totally depleted because of everything that's been going on and I haven't taken the proper time to sit back and recharge and be with myself and just be calm, you know, go outside, be with nature for a while and just think, you know, disconnect, get off my phone for a few hours, listen to music that makes me happy, right? Like we can recharge ourselves very easily and once you start to be conscious of these things, you'll understand more ways to recharge yourself positively. Genuinely, this is a time where you need to take time for yourself and give yourself love. If people are hurting you, if people in your life are bringing you down constantly, that might be a karmic cycle right there. Maybe you need to finally end that cycle. Because I'm telling you, that's what this is. This moment is unearthing all of these things that we have caused. Everything that's in our life is of our creation, okay? Also, it could be karma from past lives, from your ancestors, that is a real thing. Ancestral karma is a real thing. It carries over its energy. And when you die, it doesn't mean that the energy disappears because energy can't be destroyed. So it moves on and it goes somewhere and energy is constantly f flowing and fluxing and moving. So to start to be conscious of these things and to start to just pull back, that's what I'm saying, just pull back, take some time to be with you so you can recenter yourself and raise your vibration up enough either with meditation do some guided meditations for energy healing or positive energy because you need to heal yourself you need to bring your energy up so that this world isn't constantly damaging you it doesn't matter if you're a very intuitive person naturally so like you understand the vibe you feel the vibes around you and it really impacts you or not. If you're someone who it doesn't, you feel like it doesn't affect you, it does. You are an energetic being at your core, at your being. That is what you are. So, starting to be conscious of these things is all I'm asking. Do you hear the birds? They're so lovely. Go into nature, you know, go look at some water. I, I've been spending um, time at this pond on campus and I'll just go there and I'll lay down, I bring my blanket and I'll listen to tarot readings on YouTube in my headphones, or um, I listen to this one reader, Star Moon Angel 1111. Her name is Victoria. She's from New Jersey, just like me. And she is phenomenal. Every single reading is so spot on. Like if you just go check her out, Star Moon Angel 1111, you will know what I'm talking about. Go check her out. Just go check her out her readings are long which is amazing because once you're watching them you're like oh my god don't stop you know like keep telling me these things um but yeah watch tarot readings like look for divine guidance because the divine the universe is always always sending you messages always if you've been seeing a lot of synchronicities you know like when you look at the time it's the same time over and over again or if you keep seeing a certain animal around you. Birds are a big indicator. Um, I think the bugs are a big indicator for me, at least that's how the divine communicates with me a lot. Um, literally, if you go outside and you just sit with nature and just kind of feel the energy around you, you will probably feel that energy, you know? If you have a thought and the wind starts picking up, it's this epic feeling and your soul knows what's going on. You know, your soul, that energy, that divine energy of life, literally life force energy, which is what created all of us and created this entire existence um, and is consciousness. 
I know I'm saying a lot of things that if you are new to these things you probably don't know what the hell I'm talking about but you know look into these things because this is also a time where the divine is trying to send us so many messages so many and if we keep ignoring them, the more we ignore them, the worse our life is going to be. If you notice that you are in a rut and you feel like shit every day and you're, you know, kept up with these thoughts that are killing you, there's a reason for that. You are not doing something right. You need to trust the feelings that you have. You need to trust your inner guidance because that is your energy telling you, guiding you which way to go. It is the divine. It is pure consciousness right and we're all conscious to a degree but we don't trust it we don't trust our souls we don't trust our feelings and we go with our logical minds and we trust them way more <laughs> which is ridiculous because that's what leads to our unhappiness and our stress overthinking not trusting this is a moment to trust to step back get away from whatever is making you feel like shit because odds are that is one of your karmic cycles that you need to break so that you can learn from this situation and move on for your happiness. The divine just wants you to be happy. Your soul just wants you to be happy. Stop overcomplicating things with your logical mind. Just stop. Step back and heal yourself. Release the things that make you unhappy. Release the things that cause you stress. You don't need them and you will be much, much happier without them, I promise you. Trust in the divine. Trust in your inner guidance, your inner voice. And everything's gonna be okay. Everything that's happening right now is happening for a reason, I can tell you that much. Just trust what you feel, trust what you know and live the best life that you are meant to be living. You are a divine being of light and love. You were sent here for a purpose. Follow it, chase it, do not question it, and everything else will just work out the way that it's meant to. I love you guys so much. I am sending you all the light and love in the world. This is a time for awakening. This is a time for trust. And this is a time for self-love. Give yourself love. Give yourself the gift of love. Today, right now. Turn this off and go meditate. Just focus on your inner voice, on your inner light, and see how you feel. I love you guys. I'm wishing you all the luck and love in the world. Thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, and peace be with you.